I for today's Sardan, this it was 10 euros at the flea market. It seemed to be interesting and I did not know what it was. So I picked it up. Apparently it is some piece of uh, recording uh, studio equipment. The Presonus Digital Audio Firepod. Firewire recording interface. So it looks like it is a device that will take a bunch of uh, analog entries from uh, microphones or musical instruments and will digitalize them and send them on the fly on, uh, over uh, firewire to a computer for digital recording of uh, sound. Uh, I cannot test it really with firewire because I do not have any remaining computer with firewire. It is a little bit outdated. But I did test it with just an uh, analog input and I believe it is not working correctly because in fact the uh, monitor uh, phone's output audio was really bad quality, missing all the bass frequencies, all the low frequencies and uh, distorted, really uh, uh, strange. I was expecting to have uh, correct audio on the uh, audio monitor output but it did not uh, work so well so I believe I will set it for parts on eBay after this video and of course when uh, it came with a DC adapter but uh, it was not working with the original power brick because of uh, bad capacitor luckily enough it is a regular 12 volts and I am able to use another one to show you, but uh, not much will happen. You will see, without the computer, it has no display, so we are just uh, the input here. And it will do nothing. Uh, why? Uh, 12 volts, yes. Center plus, yes. Is it a dead? Power supply again. This was fine. Let me try another one. And one thing I really do not like now with the power supplies is that they, not, they do not include a light. Led to let people know if at least you have AC power and if it is working or not. Ah, this one is working. So we have a dead power supply again here. Nice. So as you can see, we have just a blue and red LED here that will indicate if you have a fire wire signal, synchronization or whatever you want to call it and we have 38 volts uh, phantom power supplies here you can enable for the microphones to power your microphones and it is all, it is all what it will do so not much to see ok so as you can see it is a rack mount box with uh, aluminium sides on the front, steel back. On the back we have uh, more uh, we have uh, more jacks for uh, your uh, line out uh, output, line outputs balanced, uh, line input preamp, your fire wire, your power supply of course, uh, and a digital audio also on MIDI and made in China so it seems to be uh, fancy and expensive but I believe it is not very good quality in fact because because that look at this when you move these potentiometers you move all the row of potentiometers on the LEDs so it cannot be good. Really, there is a problem here. So either a screw is loose inside, or really they did miss some point here. So probably you are not supposed to adjust all the time with potentiometers, but still, 
it is not uh, looking good. Okay, now I will undo some screws and I will be right back. Okay, we should be good. Uh, oh, oh, it is quite easy to take apart uh, side uh, aluminium pieces here in that case aluminium for the rack mounting might be reused if I scrap this device, but I believe I will sell it anyway. Uh, and here we are. Okay, so yes. As we can expect, we have a number of parallel uh, similar uh, stages. So here is our front panel. Just a piece of aluminium like that. And, oops, uh, we have stuff to disconnect, obviously. It is very convenient. I do not know if we will be able to see it. Here we have a very short wire for the power supply. And the connector is quite far. Okay. There we are. Naturally, maybe it was not necessary to undo this. So here is our box. And what do we have? Yes, actually, this, uh, as you can see, this uh, nothing is holding this wall side of the circuit board into the front panel with the potentiometers. We have the nut here for the jack, but all this part is not attached. We have no screws on the potentiometers. And thing to secure them to the front panel why it is moving so badly and also uh, no insulation whatsoever under this uh, PCB while I believe it is not very far from the uh, steel case here so it is not uh, terribly impressive also so can I lift this uh, thing or is it the same no, it is the same one under so the same, same stuff under you have two uh, plastic screws here securing it in place so they are secured together but uh, not uh, secured relatively to the case so what do we have we have some kind of uh, power supply stage i believe this will be a buck converter something to make the 48 volts for the uh, phantom power supply here. I say phantom, it is in French, in fact, I don't know if it, the word is ghost in uh, in English, but it is your 48 volt power supply for the microphones, and obviously you are powering with a 12 volts input, so you need to create some upper level of voltage. So it might be this transformer here, fuse, uh, bridge rectifier, so maybe it will take, yes, it is quite well because it can take uh, DC or AC. It is why we have with the bridge rectifier. So we have uh, the brains here, bridge core, 
some uh, RAM chips, it seems, on the Bridgepo L5A9625. Uh, let me try to zoom it a little bit. So, this must be your, uh, or maybe this one, your FireWire chip. Yes, this one makes the FireWire. This one must be your uh, digitizer, uh, analog to digital converter, I guess. Or maybe this one's here. So here all analog uh, stuff it seems. A lot of passive parts. Nice uh, little um, potentiometers here. And your big impressive uh, nutric plugs. Are they real nutric or are they fake? Not sure. I believe they will take at the same time uh, the nutric connector on the regular 6mm jack. And here you have the same setup with two uh, similar things stacked together for the uh, yes, phantom power switch. It must be FP switch. And a wall army of capacitors here. For the uh, inputs, bottom side, not much. MC three three zero seven nine zero. Okay, one more chip here for the MIDI. I guess it is near the MIDI connectors. It is all okay. Quite uh, impressed with the uh, amount of capacitors here, but if they are bad capacitors, and yes, surely enough, you have your. Can I see it better? Yes, here, your famous Shanks brand. Oh, Shang. Ah, this time it is Shang. It is, there is not X at the end sometimes, I believe. You have a X at the end of this brand. Or it is a copy of a copy of a brand. So all uh, lower end capacitors in a professional, supposedly audio device. Interesting. Uh, copyright 2004 here. The relay is good uh, Japanese brand. Nice, it is a good brand of relays. Apart from this, I believe it is all. We have our uh, serial number sticker here, matching the one on the case. And it is almost all. Ah, I did almost forget here this. Uh, uh, jack panels, panel. No overpass here, just the jacks. So it is interesting that they have uh, a flat uh, ribbon cable and another set of cables here. Why they did not uh, do everything on the flat one? Not really sure. Oh, because this one was actually going here to the uh, board with uh, adjusting potentiometers while the other one uh, goes directly in here. Okay, so I will try to put this back together and uh, try to set it on eBay to get back my money at least. Uh, not uh, very impressed with uh, overall quality, you can see quite a flimsy board. This is a terrible design here on this side. And uh, random uh, quality selection of uh, components, some good brands and uh, some really poor capacitors as always. Here is your uh, setup for the light on these buttons. You have a pop button and a little button, clear plastic, that will add with, uh, as a light pipe with uh, LED here at the bottom. Interesting. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.